Krishna and I are going to demonstrate a breathing exercise from the yoga tradition referred to as alternate nostril breathing or in Sanskrit Nadi Shodan. Nadi means channel of energy. Nadis are these energy channels that transport pran or life force. Shodan is purification or cleansing thereof these channels. This exercise is a pranayam exercise and in Sanskrit prana has different meanings. It can mean breath, energy, or life force. These words are almost synonymous in this tradition. And yama means retention thereof. So it is the retention of these energy pathways through this exercise that will help you gain benefit on an energetic level. It also helps to calm the mind, the nervous system relax, you go into more of a parasympathetic state, and it helps to balance both hemispheres of the brain so that you're ripe with creativity and logic throughout the day. It's both cooling and heating. So in the tradition of Ayurveda, it's seen as balancing to all doshas. This exercise can be performed at any time in the day, but is best first thing in the morning with a dedicated practice of at least five minutes. I am now going to demonstrate this exercise as Chiara guides us through the process. To practice Nadi Shodan, find a quiet spot or you can sit for a few minutes without being disturbed. Feel that you can sit comfortably in a position that is comfortable for you. You may ideally choose to sit in a cross-legged position or in half lotus. Should this be uncomfortable, you could sit in Vajrasan, sitting on your knees with your buttocks on your heels. Or you may also choose to sit on a chair. If you do sit on a chair, make sure that your back is not leaning against the backrest. Another point to keep in mind is that if you feel that your back is rounding, place a cushion or a support under your buttocks. This will elevate the hips and it will render keeping the spine straight a much easier task. Feel that your whole body is erect without being stiff, your mouth is relaxed, your eyes are relaxed and your forehead feels open. Your shoulders are relaxed and your heart is open. Begin the practice by simply breathing, inhaling and exhaling through both nostrils, simply observing the breath. Feel yourself centered in your practice and in yourself. Start preparing your right hand in Vishnu Mudra, the thumb ring and little fingers are raised, the middle and index fingers are folded down. You will use your right thumb to close your right nostril. Inhale through the left nostril. Now close the left nostril and exhale through the right nostril, slowly without forcing the breath. Once you've exhaled, inhale through the right nostril. Close the right nostril with your thumb and then exhale through the left nostril. Repeat for at least 10 times. As you start advancing in your practice, you may add breath retention into this practice. So once you've inhaled through the left nostril, hold the breath, closing both nostrils, and then exhale through the right. Once you've finished exhaling, you may like to remain with empty lungs for a few moments before inhaling again, closing the right nostril, retaining the breath, 
exhaling through the left nostril and repeating this variation as many times as you're comfortable. Imagine that you are drawing a square with your breath. So you inhale for a count of two, three, hold, two, three, and then exhale, two, three, remain without breath, inhale, two, three, hold, two, three, exhale, two, three, and remain without breath for another three counts. You may increase or decrease this count. Do whatever feels comfortable. And once you have finished your practice, relax your hand back onto your knee or your thigh. Remain with your eyes closed and keep savoring the experience of calmness and stillness in your body, in your mind, the centeredness in yourself. Observe how smoothly the breath enters and exits your body. If you have practiced in a dark place, or if you please to do so, bring your hands cupped over your eyes. Allow the heat, the prana, from your hands to enter your eyes. Gently open your eyes, staring at the palms of your hands, slowly moving the hands away from your face. And as in Vedic tradition, observe the hands and pray that these hands may carry out good deeds for others, yourself, the earth, and in service of God. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.